nah, we're not going to do that. But we move forward. Let's go ahead and talk about the Braves even series. 1-1 with the comeback win that sent ATL in, in a frenzy. Man, last night, Atlanta was electric. You could just, man, it was just a fun, fun situation. It was so cool when the mascot was up there uh, dancing up on top of the um, – on top of the dugout after they got the first uh big home run shot in the um it was the seventh inning it looked like and then they come back and then they hit another two run shot and then makes the game five to four they go ahead and they end the game on pretty much a uh alley-oop type situation where a guy gets a great catch in center field guy thinks that he's able to um to just keep run because he thought it was going to be a hit it was actually Bryce Harper who had an IQ issue but I think that he was on a hit and run situation and he wound up not getting back in base in time it winds up being a double play inning over game over and um you know the uh Braves move on they get themselves the, the much needed win that they needed and now they're headed to um Philadelphia with the opportunity to go ahead and actually win this series. But a lot of people are probably thinking to themselves, we're not even going to make it back to uh, Atlanta with um, the way that the Phillies have played at home. But the way that they won this game, they're going to be really confident going into game three. So if you're just thinking that just because Philly was able to do what they did to the Marlins, a team that barely made the playoffs, it, do you think they're going to do the same thing to the Braves, who are a team that was the best in baseball? It's a different matchup. It's a different element. It's a different beast. So when you look at the way that game sets up, you really see that it's going to be a tough night for the Phillies, but they can absolutely win that game. I think this series does go five. I'm going to keep it real. I think we're going to go back to Atlanta for a game five. I think that's what it's looking like right now. I know that they've done the smart thing. They're going to bring out their best pitcher for game three. This is Atlanta. And I know that the Phillies will have their best pitcher ready for game four. That's the mentality of both of these managers right now because the Braves know that they want to go in there and take the first game in Philly. All they're looking for is the split in Philadelphia. Sweeping in Philadelphia would be great, but getting the split in Philadelphia, that's the mission. That's the mission in general. But really, when you're a road team, that's the first idea that you have. Get the split. Regardless of anything, you don't have to win every game. Just get the split. When you win both, both games or all the games on the road, that's a bonus. But when you get the split, that's the mission. So pretty much they're trying to achieve the mission like the Phillies did. The Phillies set themselves up to be the winner of this series. But the Braves are such a good team, you can't just write them off like that. But the way that they had to come back last night, if you're a Philly fan, you're more than excited about them coming to your house because you have the confidence that you can beat this team. And you already did it before last year as well, too. So what it do? That's what the biggest thing is when it comes to this game right here. So. I truly do feel this is probably going to wind up being the best series of the divisional series um, at the end of the day. And it would be pretty crazy if the Dodgers are able to get back into their series force five. This one goes five. Then the MLB offices will be ecstatic because that means that we didn't sweep ourselves into the championship series, that it was truly fought for. And fans will love that as well, too. That's why we get a little irritated about when we see teams go up 2-0 and just think damn they're gonna sweep but we have to always remember if a team has some real fighting them they ain't gonna get swept and the Braves showed that they have fighting them can the Dodgers show that as well too can the Orioles show that as well too those are the questions that are being asked now of the top seeds the teams that have won 100 games and it was three of them this year so We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. But the Braves get themselves a great win last night and find themselves right back in position to be back in the NLCS. So 